first bring the necessary components from the library. Atomga32 from the microprocessors section. LED from Optoelectronics. Choose a resistor. Push button from the switch and relay section. A ceramic capacitor. Let's bring two pictures of Atomga32 datasheet. Let's use the deep package, which has 40 pins. This IC has 32 input and output pins, categorized into four 8-pin ports. Port A, B, C and D serves as an 8-bit bidirectional I.O. port. Port pins can provide internal pull-up resistors. Pin 10, is 5B power supply. Pins 11 and 31 must be connected to ground. Pins 12 and 13 are the input and output of the oscillator circuit. In this project, we are going to use the default internal oscillator with 1 MHz. Pin 9, resets the IC. Reset input. A low level on this pin for longer than the minimum pulse length will generate a reset. Pin 30, is the ADC block power supply. ABCC is the supply voltage pin for port A and the A-D converter. It should be externally connected to VCC, even if the ADC is not used. If the ADC is used, it should be connected to VCC through a low-pass filter. Pin 32, is the reference voltage of the ADC block. The pin reset is active low, normally it should be connected to the high logic. The maximum current for each pin is 40 ma. Pin 9 is connected to ground by pressing the key. Connect pin 9 to the power supply with the pull-up resistor. Set the pull-up resistance to 10 kilo ohm. The IC power pins on the Proteus are hidden and driven by default. Follow this path to see hidden pin of the components. Reset the new settings. All pins in input and output mode have the same function. Let's use port A. An LED driver circuit with sync output. An LED driver circuit with source output.
driver circuit, for 2 series LEDs. Choose the analog model for the components. Circuit driver, for two parallel LEDs. We use code vision to write code in C language. Create a new project in code vision. Agree to create the project with the code wizard. Select the Atomga family. Select Atomga 32 from the list and set its frequency to 1 MHz. That's enough for now, create the project. Let's create a new folder for the project. Naming different parts of the project is done in three steps. It is better to have one name. In the source file we delete some unnecessary code. A simple code in C contains the attachments section and the main function. An infinite while loop is used to keep the micro active. We need to configure the ATMGA32 pins. Investigate the role of input and output registers. Three registers are used to configure each port. The DDRX selects the direction of pin. If DDXN is written logic 1, PXN is configured as an output pin. If DDXN is written logic 0, PXN is configured as an input pin. The PINX specifies the logical level of the pins, all time. The PORTX, if you define the pin as output, you can send information to the pin with this register. Or, if you define the pin as input, you can enable pull up resistor with PORTX register. Pin, defined input and pull up resistor are disabled. Pin, defined input and pull up resistor are enabled. The pin is the defined output and the logic of the pin is zero or low. The pin is the defined output and the logic of the pin is one or high. Define all pins of port A as the output. To turn on the LEDs, set pin 0 in sync mode, and pins 1, 4, and 7 in source mode. And vice versa to turn off the LEDs.
Select the build all icon to create a file with the hex extension. Double click on 8nga32 to program it. And specify the path for the hex file. Run the simulation. All resistors are 160 ohms and the LEDs are not biased properly. For further investigation, the characteristic curve of the LED can be plotted. We need a constant voltage as the anode cathode voltage, and a current probe for the LED current. Make sure you select the analog model. Use the transfer graph and drag the current probe on it. Set the anode cathode voltage between minus 6 to 5 volts. Before checking the characteristic curve, see the default parameters of LED in Proteus. Forward voltage 2.2 volts, forward current 10 ma, reverse bias resistance 100 K and breakdown voltage 4 volts defined. Part of the data sheet of a LED. Forward voltage 2.8 volts, forward current 20 ma, reverse bias current 10 micro and breakdown voltage 5 volts defined. You can replace the actual parameters. Note, the output of the circuit is a weak output. Let's use the default Proteus values and calculate the appropriate resistor value for each circuit. In this figure, the values of each resistor are calculated. Select the nearest standard resistor. Another example let's control the LEDs with the key. Add a key to the circuit. Use pin B7 as input. We are going to use the internal pull up resistor, the capacitor is to remove the bounce. In code vision we use the if structure. We want the LEDs to be on. And turn off the LEDs by pressing the key. A delay of 10 milliseconds helps reduce the effects of bounce.
Define pin B7 as input with pull-up resistor. If you are interested in the topics of this channel, do not forget to subscribe. Introduce this video to your friends. Thank you.